Hi there and welcome to ZDNet. Let's talk about how to Photoshop on iPhone. You may be a loyal Photoshop user or a beginner completely unfamiliar with the software. Either way, if you're looking to edit your photos on your iPhone for a business or just for yourself, the Photoshop Express app may be the answer for you. This app is included with your Photoshop subscription. After downloading the app from the App Store, let's open it and explore it for a little bit. The app is really loaded with features and editing options, and I'll just give you a little glimpse into the basics on this video. These buttons appear on the app's home screen. We have the Edit button, which lets you choose a photo to edit. Retouch will let you quickly retouch a photo even edit proportions, facial features, add makeup, and blemish correction. You can delete and replace backgrounds using mix or make collages with several photos, or you can even capture photos using the phone's camera right here. I'm gonna go with edit and skip to the photo I chose. Let's have a quick look at the filters available. You've got basic, charm, HDR, which let's explore and add one here. You can see we can drag this left to right to customize the intensity of the filter. You've got black and white, and uh, each time that you tap on one of these group names or categories, a whole host of filters will appear that you can add to your picture, and you can preview those before choosing. I'll go back to HDR and choose one to add. And then let's go to adjustments. There's really a lot of adjustments you can make, but the first thing you wanna do is determine what part of your photo you wanna edit with these options here on the right. You can choose to edit either the full picture or you can edit the subject of the photo, which is automatically selected, but you can edit the selection or you can just choose to edit the background as well. I'll be editing the whole thing, so I choose full. Again, here's a quick look at the adjustments available that you can add to your photo, and you can also edit the intensity of each one, like with filters. The adjustments you have on the Photoshop software from your computer are available in one way or another in the app. Like you can see saturation, blur, and vignette, for example, which we'll add to this picture too. But there's also dehaze, clarity, and many, many more. Let's try the healing tool. It's reminiscent, really, of both the spot healing brush and the clone stamping tool in Photoshop. You have the basic and advanced options. In the basic options, just tap on the blemishes you want to remove from the photo. For example, let's remove the people from the stairs. And the advanced option lets you remove larger items by replacing them with another spot from the picture, much like the clone stamp tool. We'll fix the stair rail that got a little wonky when we deleted the people. And you can see just tapping on the screen after you make your selections will apply the change. When you choose to crop your photo in Photoshop Express, you can quickly choose a preset for sizing and ratio like social media, print, photo, and many, many more. Or you can simply crop it to your liking. And you can see down here there's also themes. And themes here are like templates with graphic and text, uh, which can actually be pretty useful for business social media accounts. Let's walk through them a little bit so you can get an idea of what they look like. The categories will be at the bottom of the screen like with filters and adjustments. And you can see there's themes for travel, events, holidays, food, landscapes. There's really a ton of options to use these templates. Something I love using in photo editing apps are overlays. An overlay can be a sticker, a label, or a text. 
but Photoshop has these really cool overlays like light leaks and effects. Um, grunge looks, smoke overlays, raindrops, watercolor, nature, you can add birds, trees, and many, many more cool things to make your photos more attractive. I'm just going to add one of these colorful ones on here. And here's some of the text styles that you can add to your photos as well. These are also presets and you can edit them, resize, or work with them however you want. There's also a lot of stickers that you can add to your picture and play around with resizing or rotating. We're going to add one of these blue ones here just for fun. If you like to add borders to your photos, you can also find them down here as well. And in keeping with the same theme, there are also a ton of different styles of borders here. From sleek to modern to playful and quirky, you'll find something you like on here. When you're done editing your photo, you can tap up here to save it and you'll have the option to choose the quality and to share it if you want. You can also tap on this button to download it immediately and it'll save to your photo library. I hope this quick intro to Photoshop Express was helpful.